Good morning. Hello. Oh, sorry. I talked at the same time as you were going to, huh? Sorry. Yeah, no problem. Person on the left, which is on over here where I am, is usually the one that runs it, supposedly. So we need to move you over next time if you want to run it. All right. Yeah. Or you can do it during it. But we're talking live right now like we're no one's else there, but we're everybody's here. <laughs> All right, so we, we're doing this live today because um, Bobby wanted to talk about using your equity from your home to buy another home, right? Yeah. Um, and actually, it's come up a lot lately. I had a gentleman last night, I'm helping buy a house, and he's a unique veteran, which has a lot of money. And, and he has a house in Fresno that's free and clear. And he said, he kept asking me, everybody's telling me to use my equity to do, you know, buy something else, do this. And I'm like, the pro one of the issues is with you is your house is free and clear. Right. Yeah. So why would you want to do that? Exactly. It's already paid off. It's what everybody wants to do in the first place so that every dollar you receive is actually income to go towards other things. So he technically could refinance that property, take some money out and go buy another property with an investment property. But I said, but you also have money in savings that wouldn't cost you anything. Uh -huh. Why not do that? Take that money and apply it because it's just sitting there making no money for you at all. Mm -hmm. Right. Just sitting there getting no income. So, yes, you can use equity in a property to go buy another property. And what's going to ha keep happening here is that equity is going to grow and grow because I, I don't know if I told you, but I'm going to share it in a second. I won't put it on screen, hopefully uh, yet. Um, but uh, we I've been looking at some stuff and they're talking about. Oh, look at that. Went there already. Anyway, um, I'll share it in a second. Okay. Basically, we're talking about that prices are up night, um, December 2021 20, from so December 20th to 21 and descent through December 2020. I said that backwards and I said December of 2020 through December of 2021. We're up nationwide. Um, what did I say? 18.5 percent nationwide. Yeah. And, you know, I think last month we they showed right at 19 percent. Right. And when we were talking November over November. Mm -hmm. But you also have to remember, we're dealing with things that we've never dealt with. Lack of inventory. Um, a third of all homes that are being sold right now are new homes, which is unusual for us. We haven't seen that in years. Yeah. So 85% of the market used to be resell, which is homes that were owned already. And they're putting it back on the market to sell. That was 85. So it left 15% of new homes. Well, now that's up to 30%. I've been saying for the past year that we're going to see 50% of resales and 50% new home sales. That doesn't yeah. mean there's going to be a lot more homes on the market. That just means there's going to be a lot less homes that are people are selling that own it because they are using their equity to do things to their house. Pools, re, you know, adding a new room on, adding some other things on. They're doing things to stay home and not go yeah. buy something else because one, it doesn't affect their taxes. If, um, they're, if they go and buy another property and move up, even if the rate was the same, their payment's going to go up because of the additional mortgage. But now that the difference in rates going up, it's it's even higher. So I'm not discounting people, but I'm hearing a lot of people who says I need another room, but it's not worth seven fifty or a thousand bucks more a month. Yeah, which, which totally makes sense, you know. <clears throat> and especially for folks like you said that that, it, that bought their house, you know, maybe 10, 15 years ago, they're in the spot where they have you know, a lot of equity if they haven't Dude, refinanced five years ago, five years ago, people are in a totally different situation with equity. True. Huge. But I, I, I'm thinking about people that could probably pull out equity, you know, like maybe, maybe, maybe they have, you know, two to 300,000 in equity. But five years ago, if you look at people who bought five years ago and look what they paid for it and what they're going forward to today, you were talking a difference of probably a hundred percent additional equity. Yeah. Right. Double what. So if they bought a house for 300,000, the house is now, you know, so five years ago, a house worth 500,000 in our area, if it went up 20% a year each year, right? Because that's technical. Let's just say 10%. Let's just make it easier. 10% a year. So $300,000 house went up three, uh, 30,000 the first year, right? So now it's 330. Then it went up 33,000 the second year. Now it's 363, right? And then it went up 36,000 the next year. Now we're at what now? 399, right? And that's one, two, three years. We're up 99,000, yeah. right? And, you, and we know it doubled that the next few years, more than that. So what I'm getting, there's, there's your 200,000 just in the last five years. Yeah. So you don't have, if you go back 10 years, 
where that was 11, right? Or 20, 20, that's 12, 11, 12. House prices, were, we were recovering, but we were not really ramping through this. We were going up seven, maybe 10% if we're lucky in our area. It didn't ha really happen. I mean, since the pandemic is when things have shot through the roof drastically. And that's only been two years. And so we're at, you know, 20 some percent or more. So what, I, what we're getting at is you have equity in your home, put it to work. Yeah. If you still, and you can to go buy something else, even if you don't want to buy an investment home, right? Maybe you want to buy that second home, that retirement home you want to go buy, you want to go move to later, you know, maybe you want to buy a, somewhere where everybody else is buying, whatever that is, but you can take that money out and do that now. And so obviously they're going to be looking at a 20% conventional loan, correct? Um, if they're buying a second home, all right, well, what depends. If they're buying yeah. a second home, it's 10% down. Oh, okay, 10. Okay. So it's only 10% down on second home. It re, it's, once you could turn it into a, if you're going to buy an actual rental property, that's when it's 20 to 25% down. Best rates at 25% down, um, better interest rates are at that because there's less of a hit at the, 25 percent down versus the 20 percent down so so what, what are absorbed by the interest rate what what are some of the caveats in the in the criteria that meets a second home a second home is some home over 50 miles away okay so there, there has to be a distance and obviously an occupancy time frame correct no occupancy time no? frame just 50 percent just five 50 miles away okay yeah, it doesn't mean you have to be there you know you have to live in it six months out of the year no you if you're like me and my wife, we've only been to ours this last year, maybe, I don't know, 20 days. Yeah. Because life has been so different for us and busy this last year yeah. with all the different events and stuff I go to. Well, I forgot I'm wearing this sweatshirt and it says Broncos. I should cross that off. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Still my team, whether good day, years and bad years. All right. So, um, they're, you know, they're show, they're showing the forecast going forward. Uh, I've seen some numbers saying we're going to the next five years, we're going to go up another 30%. I think it's, you know, nationwide. Well, if we just went up 18% year over year nationwide, what's to say we only go up 15% next year, but we have less inventory. The less inventory we have, we still have the same demand, I um, but we have less inventory. So I think new homes are going to come on the market. Um, I was listening to somebody talk last week and they were saying that I'll just talk in, in a Modesto city, right? They used to build a thousand homes a year. We're building a hundred homes a year now. Yeah. Yeah. We, we are desperate for homes. I tell you that. I mean, everything that comes on the market is gone within a couple of days. Um, and, and when you look at, you know, new homes on the market, you're seeing sometimes seven a day, you know, and that's, that's nothing. Right now that used to be like in an hour. Yeah, I was going to say, it, it, it used to be an average of about 30, 30 to 40 homes a day. Right. I mean, this is what the thing was showing. Time to go. Got to get out of here. <laughs> All my Time to wake up. So this is what they're showing for December 20 over December 21. Just wanted to put it in preference. So if we're cutting this up later and using it, yeah. um, this is where we're at year over year. And, you know, you have to look at our inventory is so much we're what were we down the last thing we we're down 18 percent or something like that and the year before or nine that's right we were down last they said we were down 19 percent of of sales right of homes being sold and that's because the year before we were down 12 percent versus the year before and that was the year that COVID hits so that means that people aren't selling their homes mm -hmm. Right. I'm getting calls yesterday. It was like all, something was in the water up in Tuolumne County. Um, also, I'm getting all these calls for people looking to uh, qualify for a home loan to buy because their landlord's putting their house up for rent. I mean, for sale. No kid. Just all, all of a sudden in Tuolumne County, huh? Yeah. Just yesterday, I had multiple calls from people up there. And it, I think because what happens up there is they usually look March time frame to sell uh -huh. the homes if they're going to sell the homes after winter and all that stuff. Yeah. And that's basically what happened. Most of these are going to go on the market in April. They're giving them 20, uh, 60 days to figure out what to do. And most of them don't want to buy the home they're in, which I don't know why, but it makes more sense. No movie. Yeah. Yeah. So um, equity, you have it, use it. Talk to me first before you decide. Um, but you should talk to me first, even if you're going to sell your house, because you might not be in a situation like these people are calling me right now and going, we need to buy now. And, but their credit score, or other reasons isn't a great time for them to buy yeah. now. 
right yeah and because they didn't plan it's all about planning and we want you to plan for your future and come to us and we'll help you plan for buying that home and get you in and sometimes it can happen right away and sometimes it's going to take 60 so you know 90 days so. yeah you, you know I, I think that's a cautionary tale you know you should always be ready to buy a home even if you're not wanting to buy a home you know just making sure your financials are in place because when you're renting you um you you really are at the mercy of the landlord and you know apartments are different than single family residences but you know the the last two years a lot of those uh rentals and people's portfolios have been put on the market and that's where our inventory is coming from right and, and we'll see more of that but it's not enough we still need more yeah. Yeah. so what you know so basically just plan um and a lot of people go you know well i didn't think i was just going to rent i didn't know i need to well the problem is that's the issue like i can fix some of the people's that i talked to yesterday issues but one of them is going to take it 30 days right at least to, and the easiest way to fix it is to, it as i always say get two to three secure credit cards right don't care if they're 250 or 300 or 500 dollars. add those three on and next thing you know in 30 to 45 days your score is totally different yeah right and we can always add on rent your you know what you've been renting onto your credit report we have you sign up for this thing but that that takes 45 to 60 days so you need to make sure that you and i got asked this on friday when i did an interview and i get asked all the time when is the best time to buy and i always say the same thing the moment you start thinking about it is the best time to start planning to buy because it, it might take you a little bit but you, it, well, and here, here's another quick question for you, Ed. So <clears throat> say someone, you know, gets a hold of you and, and you get them, you know, pre-approved um, and say they don't find anything for a while. You know, the uh, six six months to a year goes by. How long would it take for you to refresh their pre-approval? Do you just need to see the most recent pay stubs? and? Yeah, basically. Report? Well, it depends on how long it's been. Uh -huh. it, you know, our pre most pre-approvals are good for 60 days. Then we just need to see updated uh, pay stubs and bank statements. Yeah. And you're good. Credit's good for 120 days on average. But the issue is if it's uh, over six months, then we're going to need to rerun credit. We're going to have to get updated pay stubs and bank statements. And then say that you went into a new year and you have a new a, actual tax return that we should see. So our W-2 we will need updated pay stubs, updated yeah pay information and you know sometimes we we it might be later in the year where all we need is bank statements and pay stubs it just depends on what time in the year that is yeah. um if you're talking about somebody who called me yesterday um basically it's rerun credit all new documents because it's been over a year yeah yeah that was something that came up so i figured i'd I go ahead and ask right now yeah and then um so well we can talk offline too yeah, yeah. but anyway um, thanks for bringing up this idea. I didn't even think about, you know, the whole, even though I had it happen to me last night. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anything else, Bobby? No, that's it. I appreciate it, Ed. All right, dude. Thanks for everything. And everybody, I hope you enjoy what we do here. If you do share us, let us know, comment. Yes. Thanks and have a great day.